Hey Mike, it's Mark here at Goody Motor. I want to do a video here. Here is an SEL Tiguan. It's not the exact one that you were looking at, but it's almost exactly the same. I think there's like a hundred dollars difference. The one you're looking at thinks at our other store because we are looking to move back there. I don't know if you're aware that we are at the old movie theater here in town while we're doing a remodel, but our remodel is almost done and we'll be back in our store February 1st. Looks freaking awesome. So, but here's a Tiguan. A um, couple immediate things you might be interested in is it's got the um, sensors on the back. I can't remember if yours does or not. Power lift gate. A lot of space, okay? A lot of space laid down. This should be fairly similar. Might be a little bit wider than your all track right now, but where the room really shines is in that back row here. Um, coming in. So yeah, I'm six foot three. I put the seat where I'd be sitting in the driver's seat already. I'm six foot three again. And then you get in here, and yeah, I mean, I got five inches. Again, this is where I'd be sitting, too. So, um, big panoramic sunroof. Again, I can't remember if yours has that or not. Um, and th this row does slide, but that is all the way back. But if you want to slide it back and forth, you can, as you see. Uh, now, a couple features I do like in the front here. I'll show you that are a little different. Um... You do have blind spot monitoring in the mirrors, okay? Or it's actually called side assist. It's right here, you can't really see, but this will turn orange and blind spot. Again, if, if these are features you wanna pay for, great, I get it. Power seat. Uh, it, this is cool too, so they got a digital cockpit is what they call that. Um, I remember seeing the, uh, when I went to the training, they had this on the Jetta, they said, Audi finally let us take this technology. So Audi's part of the Volkswagen Auto Group, but all their technology's trademarked. So Volkswagen now has that, okay? Um, what it does is let you customize your screens up here. It does have adaptive cruise control on it. So what that is, I don't, I'm not sure if you know what that is, but if you set your cruise at 80 and a car in front of you is going 60, it'll hold with that car in front of you. And uh, you can change the distance of the car in front of you by pushing this button that you can see here, but it's right here. Okay, another thing that's cool on these SCLs is it does have navigation, of course, but if you want to play with your radio and still see where you're going, you can hit this button, hit right there, and it flips it over to the screen right there. You see that? And you hit view. You know, again, what's that worth to you? It's kind of cool, though, that you can do that. Um, it does have a wireless charger here for your phone. It is wireless as long as your phone does it. I've had people try to stick flip phones down there. They don't charge, and I'm like, I wonder why. It's a 20-year-old phone. Okay. <laughs> See, hit nav, flip it back over here, I'll show you. So there you go. Heated seats, heated steering wheel. And then what another cool thing it has, they have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I don't know if you've heard of those uh, things, but it mirrors your phone up here with several apps. You can hit this button to do it. But it's also wireless now. Before, you had to put your wire in to, to do it. Now it's wireless. And this is also has remote start on it. And another cool thing they've added starting in 2020 is they've given you an app called VW CarNet where you can remote start your vehicle from your phone. So you can be, I think you said skiing up in the lodge, getting ready to go, and you don't want to go out in your cold car. You can remote start it from your app, and you know it's started from the app, and you go out and get into a warm car. It also tells you your doors are unlocked, if they're open, things like that. Um, if all this technology interests you, I'll go get uh, some quotes for you if you want to do a little bit of an upgrade. It's certainly what you'd be doing, um, but again, choice is yours. Let's make it easy again, and I'm happy to help you. Thanks.